Good morning, good morning. Uh, just had one of the tenants message me this morning and say, hey, are, do, am I in your schedule? Uh, you can't be, I didn't say that, but you know, as long as they get a hold of me earlier, show me that they're available, I most likely be able to fit you in. So it's a tenant um, for a property manager. I've been trying to call them. Mm. And then I think I got an answer later on to the point where I wasn't available. But this makes my job easier since they uh, let me know they're available. So this job is for a slow flushing toilet or pull over again. I don't know what they said exactly. I think it was something with the slow flush. Yeah, it's a slow flushing toilet and master bathroom. I'm trying to remember this property. Mm. I don't know, was this one or another one where they, uh, I don't think it's the same property. But yeah, I think it was like a hall bath downstairs where one of these tenants flushed up, you know, the toilet paper roll expander thing with the spring on it they got that right in the hole i guess i'll remember when i start pulling up but i don't think it's this one but i'll get you guys some shots yep this is the place hopefully they didn't drop nothing in the toilet again uh, i gotta hurry up too because i'm parking illegally I'm taking advantage of a, it looks like somebody's moving out so they're moving fast that's all i know okay I've got this big truck and still not big enough got my plunger my little toilet auger you know what i think i'm taking my sweater off it's getting warm all time. Hello? Yeah. Hey. I gotta hurry up. I'm parking illegally. <laughs> I, I I couldn't fit my uh, truck in your driveway. Yeah, I know. <sighs> hey, is it okay if I uh, record for YouTube? For educational purposes? Yeah, that's fine. Awesome. How's the new light? How's the new light? Oh, great, man. Great. Yeah, I'm going to show like these guys. We use it like... There you go. Yeah, this... Uh... I'm going to show you real quick. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, luckily, I was able to find the same light. Because the last light, um, he ended up trying to change these. They were circular... Uh, I don't even want to call them like fluorescents. He had LEDs and I think he had fluorescents. And I'm like, oh, you you bought the wrong lights or whatever. I So I bought my own, put it in there, found out that uh, it still didn't work properly. They worked and they were sh they're going on and off. Found out it was a driver's. So I had to buy this expensive light. LED, freaking $150. That thing is probably the most expensive light I had to uh, install in uh, one of these rental properties before. I'm sure they probably weren't happy when they seen the, the light cost. But they want me to replace what's there or upgrade it, so. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't know what's... Yeah, I remember last time I was here, I pulled out a, what do you want to call it? The uh, toilet paper roll dispenser. It was out of the hallway one. Yeah. This one now, what's going on with this one? It just, you know, sometimes it'll flush and then other times it just won't. Okay. Oh, so you got your little, does that thing shoot air? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> That'll be the 
first to tell you it doesn't. <laughs> Well, so far, do you have to hold the handle to flush this thing? No. Because I just flushed this thing. It didn't even hold up the flapper enough. I think it's, it's a big flapper. It's a big flapper. Let's see. I don't want to flood the place. Yeah, you got to hold it. And we're not going down. So we got two issues. Okay. Like I said, now, you know, I know nothing's down there because. Oh. <laughs> what are you here? Let's see it. <laughs> we'll find out. Hopefully not. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word. Who's calling me now? Hello, is it Brian? I do. Yeah, I'll move it. Okay, that's what I was trying to think I can get away with since you're... I seen you're moving, I'm like, I might be able to get away because I'm unclogging this toilet right now. But, yep, I'll move it right now. I'm really sorry. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, well, I gotta go figure that out. Yeah, that guy seemed pretty cool. I think I just got unlucky because they were supposed to pick up that pod. Sometimes I fight with this stuff to go in. Could just be that. Might have to go get my other one. It could be something. Or I just don't know what I'm doing. Either one. Definitely fight me. I think something's in the way. <sighs> yeah, I'm pulling toilet paper out. It's not letting me go down all the way. Okay, well, yeah, we'll get my other one. Oh, are they right? Oh, wow, I just barely missed those guys. They would have been mad if I was in the way when they're picking that pot up. Good timing. Grease these things up, it's getting all rusty. Come on.
Hmm. So down. I'm thinking so. Or operator error, either one. I think there is something. Cause I can't even get through the the trap on the toilet. They're getting stuck on something. Let's see if we can shot back it out.
Hmm. Well, I don't see nothing. Uh, so I guess we'll run that thing in reverse. When you lay a toilet on its side like this, the rubbers, they go bad. So don't be surprised if uh, you got a leak afterwards. Some guys that'll take a metal coat hanger and they'll warm it up. Then they'll just stick it in there. There's like a foam toy in there or whatever. I haven't done it yet. There you go. You want this? I wish I was. <laughs> yeah, just throw it in the trash right now. Okay. Sounds good. Usually how it goes is, uh... Oh, I was looking for that. <laughs> no, that, that, that's some pet food for my wife. <laughs> Short this chain up too. Since uh, it's loose, they can hold the toilet down or hold the toilet handle. Chain is super long. I don't know where we're going with that. Oh wow, there's two of them. Looks like somebody goofed. Inverter going to town. So, got that job done. Let's get warm, get the AC going. 
Uh, so right now, I'm actually gonna go to the post office to send out junk mailers. I'm sure if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I'm always talk. Well, not always, but talk about it here and there. The E D D M every door direct mail, and they just raise the prices on me again. Uh, I know I'm sure you guys don't care, but I'm still gonna bring it up. But um, I usually get my stuff off of Vistaprint. I'm not affiliated, not getting sponsored or whatever from it, not getting no kickbacks. But the way to do it, well, it's just how I do it. Since I've been in business for a while, I can afford more. Um, but usually I buy 10,000 at a time. Sounds ridiculous, I know. But it only makes sense, well, I can't say it only makes sense to do that much. But I want to pay the least amount. You got to follow all the rules and blah, blah, blah. You got to have, I don't even know, that Adusha, Adnisha thing in the corner, return address. Um, and actually, when I was sending these out, uh, one of the, uh, a realtor actually ended up giving me a call and did some work at her house. And she was asking me how well these work. I'm like, oh, I, got, I get a few calls, you know. Really, they say you're supposed to be getting like a 1% call back or whatever call. I don't get that. Maybe even they'll say like 0.5. I don't even know if I can get that. The whole thing is you got to keep sending them every once, every 30 days. Same areas. Eventually, they do call. You know, you keep getting it, and then when they need something... Like, oh, I got those coupons. But yeah, the realtor ended up asking me about it. And I'd say I got a few calls, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, yeah. She's like, I used to do that. And I didn't really get that much. Uh, get, she didn't get that much from it. And I'm like, well, how many are sending out? And she was saying like 200. And I'm like, that's why. But I think she was spending like 50 cents per and don't forget, she wasn't doing it. She was probably paying her agency, the real estate agency, to set it up for her. So then obviously, you gotta pay a premium because you're not setting it up. By the time I um, get the postcards, I get them for like about 10 cents, 11 cents each. And then you gotta wait for the sales too. That's the way to do it. When you get the 10%, 20% off, that helps out big time in Vista Print. They're always having sales. But, um, all, and then I gotta ship them out, which is 20 cents, and they just increase their prices. So, I'm all in about 30 cents each. When you pay a company to do it, it's way more pricier at that point. I don't even know if it's even worth it. Matters what kind of, uh, business you have I don't know any handyman actually sending out junk mailers but uh yeah just another way to advertise another way to advertise I like going to the junk mailers just because I'm going directly to their house rather than them looking up online and then having 50 million handymen you know show up that's one way to make yourself stand out and obviously, you know, I give a coupon out and uh, making them more enticed to use my services. The whole problem is, you know, customer acquisition, it's really pricey to get new customers. So you, I want to try to keep the customers that I get. Once I work for them, I'm like, oh, I like this guy. I'm going to stick with this guy. All I got to do is get in the door. That's all I got to do. You have bad experience with the customer, most likely you're not going to have a call back or get a call back. I could be sending out maybe. Oh man, I hate these. I hate these parking spots here. First of all, I can't even drive with this big truck. Second of all, these small spots aren't helping me. Oh, 
but yeah, the it's pretty cool though. I mean, even people from high school they'll send me photos on send me photos like, hey, I got your mailer. Yeah, there's probably about six or plus people they got a hold of me. Send me pictures of it. So yeah, this is my postcard. Need your return address right here. And then that's that retail Dusha, Inisha, I don't even know what you want to call it. If both you need that too, local postal customer. And then uh you usually want to put your uh good side where they uh where this is at because this is the way they ship it out where they put in the mailbox. This is the most oh come on, don't blow up. So pretty much yeah, you just stack it up, print them out. So there'll be uh this is one of seven. So there'll be seven of these, and the last one will probably have like whatever's left over. So it'll be like uh we we'll probably could have six stacks of 100, and the last one can have like 58. That's just one route. That's the route number.